Well, hey, yeah, we finally got going and um, we set off from Manchester about five minutes ago. We're on the motorway, we're heading towards York. We're gonna have ourselves a cracky weekend. No work involved, no nothing. So, leaving the farm behind, leaving all weekdays work and everything like that, I'm with Gray and we're gonna meet someone else um, and we're going to camp in a beautiful woodland just round the corner from York. I think it's about 20, 25 minutes out of York. So really looking forward to it because you know what, for the past 10, 12 weeks, I've been working my backside off. And I just, you know, I'm just looking forward to just relaxing. Listen, if this is shaking, it's not my camera skills. It's Gray's it's driving. driving yeah. It's Gray's driving. So <laughs> um, let me have a peek there. Look, he's got a smile on his face, but Unfortunately, he's lumbered with the driving here. So yeah, we all packed up. We got everything. We actually packed a bit too much than what we should. We don't normally pack this much when we go for camping, but we're having a cracking weekend. We're going to do some bush cooking and, and so on, some open fire cooking and... Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> snowflakes about. I'm sorry, but yeah, we're going to do some shooting as well. So. I'm not sure if I'm gonna catch any on video. I might do, I might post it on sort of a separate video for everybody. So, because not everybody, it's not everybody's cup of tea, really. We want to do some um, nice cooking and, and, and so on and just explore the woods. It's a brand new woods that we got access to from a friend of ours that's invited us over. He's actually only recently bought the, the, the woods, so it should be cracking should be nice got some pines got some birch got some oaks all sorts on there so we'll have a look at that um, so yeah I'm looking forward to it I just want to relax honestly just want to get my head back in gear relaxing and just enjoy the time so um, what do you guys get up to when you go let us know drop drop us a message down below let us know comments and everything like that um, what what's your best type of weekend what do you enjoy doing mostly you know what I enjoy practicing bushcraft but I kind of think I need about three four days maximum or minimum shall I say four days minimum so that I can get into it the first day normally is just setting up and then sort of winding down and get yourself into the mood and everything like that so it's a bit difficult then you're only left with one or two days um, but one thing I love doing is I love cooking love cooking in the wild honestly absolutely enjoy doing that um, so yeah listen join me later I'll show you around the woods and everything like that when we get there trying to get the nuts out of them. Quite a bit of deer in these woodlands and pheasant as well. Right, so we've arrived at my friend's camp. Um, three, three of us here at the moment. So I've got Tom, Gray, and myself. We're at this beautiful private woodland. Um, it's owned by a friend of mine, and I'm not actually going to say on camera who it is. It's up to him to tell people about it. But um, it's an amazing place. It's absolutely beautiful. It's an old oak forest. Um, we've got a lot of spruce, pine as well, and and so forth. It's absolutely beautiful. The one problem we don't, we, the one problem we have, actually, there's not many rocks around here. The soil is absolutely peaty. If I can just show you this, if I even go like half a foot down, that's what you get. And it's so rich, so fluffy, so so dry. Actually, that's very very dry. And 
that presents a little bit of a problem for us and that is we don't want to be making a fire on top of this number one we got the roots of the trees and secondly this peat will go off like anything and um, me knowing peat, peat actually burns from underneath and it's very hard to to um, spot and by the time it's it's flared up it's too late to sort of put it out but we dug a hole obviously you all know why we dug a hole but we dug a hole and um, we found that there's certain areas in this in this woodland that's actually very rich in clay and so what we done is we made a fire pit and what I did is I dug out the peat I dug out the peat away from there and then I stacked about a foot of clay so I made a nice big base of clay and then what I done is I piled clay on the side as well and what that does is just stops heat transfer down to the peat and hopefully contains the fire in one place because we got a lot of um, pine here um, and as you all know pine burns nice and bright and beautiful and it's a easy burning wood unfortunately it splatters and um, you know if the wind picks up or, or something like that we don't want our, our um, coals to splatter and sort of sort of being drifted away and landing on the peat and, and, and so on so basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and burn oak and we're going to keep the fire contained to a minimum as well just enough for us to cook our food and so forth I mean it's it's hot enough we don't need to bother too much about it um, but yeah it's paramount if you if you camp on people's woodlands or any woodland for that matter the number one is have a look at the ground because if you got a lot of peat I mean it is so dangerous it goes up like you won't believe it so just be careful don't take note of the camp um, Gray's back there sitting up his business um, swearing and carrying on with himself um, Tom's hiding from the camera because he's camera shy <laughs> but yeah um, we just offloaded everything getting stuff ready and so on and then um, we're gonna start relaxing so see you in a bit So we're going to make a nice stew today, um, going to do a wine stew with loads and loads of vegetables, potatoes and so on. And we also got a few other things that we're going to put in.
totally amazing totally enjoyed it if you have a look absolutely awesome 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 this was our first time here yeah? so next time we'll do a bit more exploring but totally loved it the resources there's so many resources here it's untouched woodland and I mean the amount of fat wood and pine resin and birch and oak it's beautiful the ground as well the ground is dead soft it's so peaty so any water just drains away so you're not covered in in mud or anything like that it's beautiful some of the pines here and the oaks they're massive absolute massive so this talk of building a a tree house on this that would be awesome put that on on YouTube um, do a nice tree house that would be amazing I mean look at the size of them pines there look at that the size of that beautiful so we've got about an hour and, and a half drive home um, not looking forward to actually leaving but unfortunately needs must and we got work but hopefully I'll bring you all back here again and you can have a look just a quick one thank you very very much I mean everybody that subscribed and liked and watches the videos and you know gives me all the support it's 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 awesome and I do appreciate it absolutely brilliant I never expected to have so much support out of people and so on so thank you very very much thank you and you all keep well I hope to see some of you out as well in the woods and share the knowledge keep it going